Well, here we are again for some camera news. Canon has been discontinuing more and more of their EF and EFS lenses. We know that Canon has slowly been doing this and is committed to fully focusing on the mirrorless market, but now many of the EF and EFS DSLR lenses are going out of production. According to Petapixel, there are only nine Canon DSLR prime lenses that are still in production in Japan. However, Canon USA says that it still currently supports 26 prime lenses, even though only 17 of those lenses seem to be available with six of those 17 on back order at Adorama. The DSLR lens line is definitely dwindling but since Canon has said that they will not be producing more DSLR cameras and fully focusing on mirrorless cameras, this is bound to happen. Adobe Premiere Pro is the most used video editor at the Sundance Film Festival for the fourth year in a row. According to Pro Video Coalition, 61% of the films in the festival were edited using Premiere Pro, and 78% of the films in the festival used some kind of Adobe tool in their production workflow. This does make sense though, since Adobe has always had a big hand in the event, and they also sponsor The Art of Editing, which showcases editors and films from the festival. Adobe has been doing a great job with their fellowship and partners programs and other artistic community programs to make an effort to have a relationship with their creators. Micro Four Thirds may not be dead. There's an upcoming camera from OM Systems, which is the company that bought out Olympus. This is apparently going to be a 20 megapixel camera with 4K 60, 10-bit, 422 video recording with up to 240 frames per second in 1080p. It is also rumored that the camera supports up to 20 frames per second photo shooting with the electronic shutter and possibly up to 120 frames per second shooting, but probably without autofocus or auto exposure. I'm curious to see the evolution of the Olympus brand. I know that companies in Japan usually have to be sold to other entities to do a major restructuring when a company is having issues, so this very well could be an excellent spiritual successor to Olympus cameras. The Red Komodo just got a new update giving it a time-lapse feature. This is fantastic since the storage required with this camera to take a long exposure is astronomical. The time-lapse feature allows you to set a time interval between captures and then the number of frames for each capture. This actually makes it possible to take a many hours long time lapse since storage would have made this impossible to do previously. There are also a fair amount of other improvements with this firmware update, such as the addition of undercranked frame rate support, sync out and tally GPIO support, and a handful of fixes and improvements for existing features. NASA's James Webb telescope has been firing up and the team behind the telescope has dropped an initial alignment photo of the telescope aligning the 18 segments of the telescope. This photo took over 25 hours to produce from the telescope that was launched nearly a month and a half ago. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel. I make tech and camera videos that hopefully help you out along your journey. See ya!